We are rocking and rolling. Hi, I want to switch to State Farm, but my husband has a hard time letting things go. He's stuck in the 90s. As you go State Farm and get to a better state. Average household savings based on 2012 National Survey. Policy holders should report a savings by switching to State Farm. Great oil and filter specials at Cart West Auto Parts. Get five quarts of five. Exit 132. Ask about the Get back the life you or your loved one deserves. Okay. The call is free. The help oh. is real. Call 800-980-4399. That's 800-980-4399. See him peeking out. Cloudy 60s today. Showers move in overnight. Showers and cooler tomorrow. Hey, look at you these guys. Now, hey, I'm Taylor Swift. Uh, this is Dorian. I'm Carrie Anderson. When you want to hang with Taylor, Miranda, and Carrie, oh. you hang on. You More see. country starts peeking now out. on Central Maine's Country, B98.5. See if we can hear them. Hi. Aww. <laughs> Look at that one there with the mud all over his nose. Him. I wonder if the numbers are for like, um, you know, when they go to the slaughterhouse. You know, this is a dairy farm though, so. Oh yeah, these are all females. Hello, hey, number three fourteen. Look at you. You get your little earrings on. All right, girls. We'll see you later. Is. Looks like she's got eczema on her nose. I know how you feel, honey. I have it on my legs. Oh, you guys stink. I always thought cows had really pretty eyes. They have such pretty eyes. Oh, look at that one over there with the with the ring between his nose. Wow. See him? Right there. Look at that. Standing way in back there. With the white spot on his head. Hey, girls. Aww, look at the eyelashes on number 235. That one. 285. You're so pretty. Aww. All right. So that's our little field trip for today, guys. the hairdo on that one. She's got bangs. That one right there. she got little black bangs over her little white triangle. Oh my god, do they stink. Ugh. Just a little field trip, guys. Dairy farm. Not 
my little dairy farm, but the local dairy farm. looks like today. It's not gushing like it was the other day. Shut that off. So I got some glazed donuts for hubby. church that we went to on um, Christmas Eve when we first moved here. We went to midnight mass and it was so pretty because it was a candlelight mass and it was just so Christmassy and it was snowing. Oh my God, it feels so good to have my car out of the garage. It's been in the garage all winter and we've been using my husband's um, Ford Explorer pickup because it's got four-wheel drive and my car um, has front wheel drive and I just, we usually just leave it in the garage all winter and take it out in the summer. So I love my little Prius. I, I get, and they're clearing this whole area over here and I don't know what they're doing, if they're going to put in a development or they're just clear cutting the trees out of there for some reason. It is 2.06 and I'm missing General Hospital. But I haven't really watched it that much lately. I missed Friday, I missed yesterday. So I suppose it won't kill me if I miss today. And now we're back on my street. And there's the lake from this end. is five miles long actually and believe it or not guys see how this is all cleared all this here area that used to be all trees you know like this side of the street and a couple of years ago we had a tornado that came through here and took every tree down in this area that's why it seems so funny that you see these little places along the lake here with nothing around them it just wiped right through here. And you can see up there where it uprooted trees and stuff like that too. But um, I remember one day, it was in the summer and it was like really hot and all of a sudden the sky started turning this weird like yellowish green and the winds like first it was really calm and then the winds picked up and then I saw hail and I said to my husband oh my god the, look at the wind out there it's been in the trees right over practically and he said yeah it's weird huh and then there were like golf ball size hail and I said something is going on in the area right near us I says this is really weird and Sure enough, down this end of the street, we had a tornado go through. And it actually went through like three or four towns, you know, the path of it. And luckily, it wasn't down my end of the street. But um, nobody's houses got damaged around, you know, at least in my town. I don't know about any other areas. Here, go to Florida for the winter. Mm, isn't that pretty? 
We have such a pretty house. top of her driveway. This is my friend Maureen's yard. That's her garage at the top of the driveway. And she lives down this driveway on the lake. See, so some of these places are summer cottages down these long driveways, and some are year-round homes. Eventually they come out and they uh, grade this road and um, so it's nice and smooth again. Sometimes they'll put stone dust on top of it so it really packs down nice and it's almost like pavement and other times they don't. But once it dries out it's pretty good. Couple of years ago, see like there's a culvert running underneath this these people's driveway. And a couple of years ago there was foxes living underneath it. But it looks like they looks like it got closed up, it's not opened up anymore. Ooh, that could be the fox's den right there. That little hole. Hmm. Because we do have a family of foxes. Um, that live around here. And they were the cutest little things, the little pups, or kits, whatever they're called. And they're cutting a driveway in there because there's a a lot of land that they bought down on the lakes and, and what else? Oh, here's a little cemetery. If you guys can see. A little family cemetery. Isn't that weird? Way out in the woods. Sorry my camera cut out on our little field trip, kids. I just picked up a couple things, a few things, I should say, when I was out um, to go with the steak tonight. Um, they didn't have any good um, ribeye steaks, so I got a couple of strip steaks. Um, boneless strip steak. and then, Actually, they were pretty reasonable. And the big one is the hubby, and then I got him some corn, and I got myself a sweet potato and I got him a big um, baking potato and I'm gonna saute up some mushrooms tonight I don't and think we're gonna need a salad seeing we got the corn and the potatoes and I got some broccoli see if he wants the broccoli or the corn and then they had strawberries uh, two for four dollars so I got a um, pound of strawberries and then I got some of this seafood salad and I bought some of these little, little sweeties um, little mini sweet peppers and 
find some more of these sun chips in the garden salsa. Oh my god, are they good, guys? They are so good. And then I bought a Woman's World magazine. Uh, melt your belly fat and lose 12 pounds and 4 inches this week. My god. Look at this. Bathe away the belly bulge. I'll stay in the tub for a week if that happens. Red wine prevents Alzheimer's. And some recipes. Ooh, regrow thinning hair. Stress free in five minutes. Uh, play music on your car stereo to save on gas. Block age related fat. Eat fattening nut nuts and stay 62% slimmer. Hmm. Okay, then I got some Cheez Its, fat free, um, and some old neighborhood German bologna at the deli. And I got some cream cheese frosting and some of these so I can grill them and we can have those for lunch tomorrow. Hot dog rolls and I will put the seafood salad on them. And I have my oven preheating and there's the carrot cake that I'm making hubby. He likes it in these these kind of like a sheet pan. Well actually it's a lasagna pan. And when it rises this cover fits over the top without touching the frosting. So, alright guys, um, so that's it for today and I'm just gonna go get some stuff done. The trash guy's and coming today. I gotta get my husband to help me get the trash all out and then I'm gonna upload this and I will talk to you later. Thanks for oh. watching. Bye-bye.